Now, number six. Now, it's going to say uh, that uh, factory completely. So you have the polynomial right here. This is the, uh, this is a uh, known factor. And again, if it's, if it's a factor, that means one thing. We know remainder must be zero. So when you do your synthetic division, and again, we inspect if there's a missing term, there's none, which is great. Okay. So we bring down the first, num first number and we multiply and put it on the next, next column. Okay. So uh, things can go really fast, really quickly. And the remainder is zero, which is lovely because uh, it's a factor we expect to be zero. So if you know it's a factor, but somehow you don't get zero, you stop and you go back and fix it. So you have x cubed divided by x. So that means uh, you have x squared minus three x minus 10 as your quotient. Now it says factor completely. So that means I need to factor this one too. And this becomes x minus five and x plus two. So what does that mean? That means x cubed minus six, x squared minus x plus 30 could be factored into first. We need to include the known given factor. And then the two factors we just found. So again, make sure you write the equal sign to show how they are equal to each other. Okay, so uh, so now we do have a question like this tomorrow on the quiz. Uh, we kindly request that you do the long division way to show it, uh, but that doesn't stop you from using synthetic division to double check, but you will show long division tomorrow. Okay, you will show long division tomorrow. And then for number seven,